Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so that is going to be a uh, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and uh, Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading for June 10th to uh, June 16th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, oh my God. And we can jump straight away uh, into the spread. Okay, so uh, the first card which represents the topic for Scorpio's week, that is going to be the Four of Cups, followed by the second card which stands for the uh, challenges uh, about Scorpio week that Scorpio needs to overcome here, that is to be the um, Eight of Wands. Third card which sits for the positive aspect of the week itself, this is going to be the Tower card. And uh, the last one that stands for the guidance in regards to Scorpio week or the guidance that Tarot has for Scorpio <clears throat> for throughout the week, that is to be the full card. So once again, we have the Four of Cups, which is uh, in regards to topic, followed by the Eight of Wands, <clears throat> which is uh, as a um, challenge. Then it is the Tower card sitting as a positive aspect of the week. And then the last card, it is the Four that sits as a guidance from Tarot. All right, Scorpio, so this is going to be a, a good week, guys, in the terms of that you are to feel or we are to feel ourselves rather in a very, I would say, consistent and calm place. <clears throat> Either in regards to career, relationship or both. Uh, and to a place, in fact, where we would rather not risk anything in order to provoke any kind of movement, but because we are to be, you know, simply happy of how the situation is as it is. That is well described here into the first one, that it is the Four of Cups. <clears throat> and it does point exactly that. One sits into one place being... Um, how can I place it, attending to the current endeavors they have, um, you know, current relationship that they have, a current career that they have and this kind of stuff, <clears throat> constraining themselves around these, uh, these enterprises and these endeavors, while in the same time, there is an, an additional opportunity coming around here with this uh, fourth cup that is presented from us, from, a, uh, from the clouds. But for some reason, we are rather hesitant to take it, not because it's a bad, not because it's a good one, but because simply what we have currently on our plate is rather enough or we think it's enough. Okay, So for that reason, and any acute uh, mental strength is needed here, one to um, realize that they can actually take care of something more. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, uh, the Four of Cups, it's uh, the final stage of uh, one's benefits. What I mean is that uh, where we are finding ourselves right now in regards to the situation, it is just consuming the final fruits of our, uh, of our labor. And for that reason, we need to start thinking of what we are to do next forward. 
speaking that we should provoke a new activity into our relationship or into our career, you know, we should think of a, a new hobby to take on or simply something that is going to make this uh, this boring environment to go away. The accompanied card here that is to be the two of uh, cups, the formation it is a uh, passive supporters that we have and it is likely that uh, well, actually, it does speaks for new love interest, uh, to be honest. A love interest that uh, you, Scorpio, may be um, reluctant to take on is because you don't, you don't find it in an emotional beneficial at that specific point. If it is not a love interest, then it could speak for a business partnership, you know, or a cooperation with a... Um, with their co-worker which again you may be reluctant to take on because why you want to jeopardize your current positions at work you know or or uh, into your relationship status just so you kind of like pull the, t the devil by his tail it's something we have into our um into our country as an expression so in other words uh scorpios <clears throat> this week will be rather well, you have a choice to make, I would say. Uh, the week could be completely normal and passive, exactly as the previous week, you know, uh, where there won't be any tantrums, where there won't be any unpleasant surprises, but there won't be any exhilarating surprises either. Well, there are, but um, you may be rather hesitant to take them. And that is uh, kind of understandable due to the second card, which is the challenge that you need to overcome. Uh, that is the Eight of uh, Wands, and the challenge itself points that some of those uh, new opportunities, new additions that may come to your way uh, are going to seem rather risky, and they are going to be risky. Now, the Eight of Wands here says that there are going to be many openings for you, you know, to do something different, to associate yourself with a different person, to date with different people and those kind of stuff. But the thing is that not every one of those enterprises are going to be good for you that is due to the topic and that's why the uh, that is due to the challenge and the challenge the real challenge itself is to approach either of those new openings with a clear-headed mind so you can have a, a sober understanding how beneficial that thing is going to be and how positive that thing is going to be for you because while it is good not to sit into one place and constantly evolve you have to do it the right way and here there are uh, forks right which well let's say uh, there, there are as as much good options as much there are also a bad options available and that's why it's kind of understandable because I am Scorpio you know I wouldn't risk it I would prefer rather to sit into one place and not indulge myself with something that may turn out good or may not turn out good so I am more like a um how can I how can I describe a, a person who prefers to um to bet on a, a on a secure endeavor should I say that way but not every one of us are like that uh then the next card is going to be the seven of cups or the accompanied card and the formation here it is a active uh, enemies that we have so with the seven of cups uh, actually uh, this is one more thing that is going to be a challenging for you it's not uh, like challenging but it's going to deprive you from leaning more toward experiencing new things into your life and that is your grounding state i mean a uh, very calculative and grounding state, once again saying, you know, why should I, you know, risk everything I have I have right now, like a peaceful life, like solid, uh, not solid, but rather steady career, you know, maybe good relationship into my, um, into my life for uh, for a thing that may not turn out well yeah it looks uh, the prospects looks good but there is still a chance that it may fall apart and if it falls apart i lose literally everything because with the eight of wands it is exactly that you get either all or you either are gonna be left with nothing so mind yourself when you are to jump into those um into those openings and take your time 
to truly analyze them uh, well because like I said you may deprive yourself from everything that you currently achieved and it will be completely understandable if you decide not to risk it I mean it, it is entirely up to your decision but yet again it is quite a positive week for those Scorpios which have nothing to lose literally right so for them it is simply all, all or nothing which nothing they have currently so what possibly can go wrong even further so yeah, it does depend how you find yourself into your life, but the week could be as peaceful as possible or it could be as opportunistic as possible as well. And uh, the next card that we do have for you, Scorpios, uh, uh, Scorpios, yeah, this is going to be, or Scorpio, uh, this is going to be the Tower card, which is the positive aspect of the week. So Tower card, it is pointing that this week is going to undergo a transformation, just like, uh, just like we said at, uh, with the many openings. But this transformation uh, can be used in a couple of ways. I would say it that way, that the Tower at the end is going to have rather positive and cleansing effect for you. It's a very peculiar card into this, uh, this follow-up that we have. The tower here points that uh, you are going to manage very well your environment, depriving the environment itself from crisis simply because the chaos that it is meant to wreak havoc upon your endeavors this week is is going to be controlled by you. Okay, so you are to control over the chaos and therefore direct the chaos the way that serves you best. For that reason. Uh, it is very unlikely that, uh, for example, your career is going to uh, uh, hit the rock bottom, your marriage is going to uh, hit the rock bottom, and so on and so forth. Even more, with the Tower card, you can restructure those um, fields of your life the way you want them to be restru restructured and not to... Uh, <clears throat> bypass this interpretation that the tower promises great amount of growth should you be agile enough or rather like a um, determined enough to build up to rebuild to bring down and rebuild for example uh, you may not be pleased of how your marriage is right now okay uh, systemized right now so you kind of like evoke your um, your wife or your husband, you sit down on the table and renegotiate all the rules that are involved into the marriage itself, structuring it the way that uh, there is now room for even further growth into this marriage. The accompanied card here that is to be the sun and we're definitely talking about a, an enormous energies of growth and energies of prosperity that we are going to have from these couple of cards this formation it is a active supporters that we have and uh, it is very likely <clears throat> with these couple of cards guys that you are going to find a common thong in between uh how can i place it? a a rival um a uh, idea or people of rivalry i don't know how to explain it but uh, let's say that the previous week you have argued with, uh, with your boss over something and now in this, uh, in this specific week you are going to find a common thong together either because he adapted to your way or you adapted to his way. It doesn't really matter but the point is that you're going to bury down the hatchets of war for one or another reason. It is because the whole situation is going to undergo a, a transformation. Now, should you want to take a, a participation into this transformation and truly uh, take advantage of the new opening well like I said entirely up to you although the guidance it is the fall and the fall here asks you to take advantage of it you know just close your eyes and take the leap of faith it is what that card asks you as a guidance because what we said at the start of the reading is that you are on a stage where you consume the final fruits of your labor and probably in a couple of weeks from now or a month from now you will no longer be satisfied of where you are staying and you would have wished to turn back the clock into this week June 10 to June 16 and took that particular opportunity or opening because it would have been something that you will have amused to work upon or to proceed on forward with you know you would have the enthusiasm and something to look forward to in general 
the accompanied card here this is going to be the uh, ten of cups formation it is a active neutrals uh, that we have so uh, it's it's rather peculiar combo uh, at that stage it's um, well it does regards to the human nature where we humans no matter how much we have we always want more and while most of the time this kind of shade of the human nature it kind it's uh it leads us to bad things you know greed um and so on and so forth uh right now it is the drive that is going to lead you toward a process of growth so you need to lean on this thing so demand or rather like ask for more from your marriage uh, or for your marriage ask for more for your career unfoldment and etc etc of course as we said right now it's only about a uh, taking advantage of the window of opportunity and we're not taking talking about a, a grand success that you are to have the way how this could manifest for me i don't know to be honest i mean i don't have a lot of interest i don't have anything planned uh, for my career but who knows i mean throughout the week something could happen that will give me a window of opportunity to expand on either of those fields i i don't really i don't really know but i am looking forward to see how this new opening is going to play out um is going to play out for me so and uh based on uh, this guidance i'm going to take it with my with my open hands and i'm going to rather embrace it because probably it's going to be the change i need to make my life I would say more cheerful than it is right now. My life, it's it's stable. Okay, I mean I'm pretty happy how my life is, but there isn't there isn't much of a uh, cheerful enterprises in it. But you know that's uh, a different topic. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for June tenth to June sixteenth, two thousand and nineteen. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.